I've been hearing a lot of chatter recently that the Riveter of all guns is the single worst weapon in MW3 Zombies. And I don't know if I believe that or not. So I have it leveled and we're going to see just how good or bad this weapon really is. Now obviously out of like the 90 plus guns or whatever this game has, one of them has to be the worst. But is it really the Riveter? Like surely I would expect like a shotgun of all guns to be pretty, you know, pretty damn good, but like, they're, they're pretty good in this game. So, <laughs> I have my doubts that this is actually the worst gun in the game, but, but like, although, uh, saying that, I have actually used the Riveter before, and I used it with the explosive rounds, and that was really bad. But, I've switched around my build, I've got slugs in here now, it's, it's, it seems like a bit of a beast in the, I mean, I used it in the training facility thing, and it seemed pretty damn good in that, so, who knows, maybe, maybe it's actually secretly incredible in this game as well. Alright, after driving a across half the bloody map, I finally have a bounty target to take down, and I'm hopeful that the Riveter actually puts up, like, a decent showing here. I mean, like, a fully automatic shotgun, like, it just screams that it has to be, like, one of the best guns in the game, like, surely. And yeah, I do have brain rot on it right now, so it is... Oh! My god. Oh! That can't be right. That can't be right. There's no... What the... Hang on. <laughs> like, what's what's going on here? Uh, oh, uh, why is my gun doing no damage? Like, why is my gun actually not doing damage? Have I just made the biggest mistake, like, of my life? Like, oh my god, like, it's... Uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Okay, so maybe, just maybe, the Riveter actually is that pathetically bad. There's no... There, that has to be... That has to be broken. I'm even using uh, brain rot and it's doing absolutely nothing. I have to like desperately get armor and whatever as well because I haven't got all my usual perks that I usually spawn with because I realized this morning that if you activate all your acquisitions, have them in your bag waiting to go ready for a run and then you, you know, close the game, say go have a shower or whatever and then come back, uh, the game just deletes all of your items from your bag which is why I don't have any of my usual perks because I couldn't be bothered waiting three hours to get them back. Is that a plate? Give. I think it is. I got it. Run! <laughs> nah, that's gotta be broken. That has to be, like, a mistake. Surely. Also, if this guy could stop shooting me from 7 million miles, that'd be lovely. Oh my god, this is actually the worst gun I think I've ever used in zombies. I have to- I have to use- I have to- I have to play a full game with this. I didn't believe when people were saying that, like, it's actually, like, that bad. I believe now. I- I am very- I'm a firm believer now that this is the worst gun in the game. That- that is actually hilariously bad. I just need him to die. Just need him to die. There we go. Oh my god. I don't get how that's that bad. <laughs> like, that has to be a mistake. I... Okay, okay, okay. No, there's no way. There's no way. Surely not. <laughs> oh my... I have to play this for an entire game. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate this. So, like, I've, I've I've seen a lot of people saying that, like, the Riveter is bad in zombies. Like, it's it's really not a good gun. In my head, I'm thinking, like, oh, it's, you know, it's got a lot of recoil. The range is really bad. It's, you know, maybe it's not doing as much damage as you like. I didn't realize it was literally, like, shooting breadsticks at things. Like, <laughs> what is... Oh my god. Oh. I mean, can I just use this instead? You know? I guarantee this does more damage. Unpack a bunch of power, but you know what? We're gonna test it. Where is a goddamn bounty? I mean, just using this to take down regular zombies, I can already tell that this is such a- Like, this is just a vastly better gun already. It's not even pack a punch, it's the same rarity. No idea what attachments are on it, and it's already better than the Riveter. And the Riveter is tier 2 pack a punched Purple rarity. Can I ch can I switch the challenge? Can we just go to the- uh, whatever this gun's called? I have gone and bought myself a little bit of dead shot as well. Well, I can't, I can't use, the, I can't use that. I can't use that gun. It's cheating if I use that gun. I can't, I'm instinctively now switching over to, oh my god, look, like, this gun is pathetic. Oh my god, I don't want to use anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, 25% extra damage is doing so much work there, huh? Can you do one? Like, it does no damage to these guys either. <laughs> oh my god. I thought putting the slugs on it, so, like, it has, like, 100 base damage or something, would at least make this weapon, like, a lot better. Like, a lot, lot better. Uh, no. Just, no. <laughs> it hasn't. Like, okay, it does a somewhat, like, average job at taking down a regular elite. That's kind of nice. The SMR, very, very bad, right? Probably one of the worst guns we've ever had in zombies. But, like, like I said, the damage to that gun, actually very, very good. 
like actually a very very powerful weapon it just doesn't shoot straight <laughs> like it doesn't shoot where you aim which is why it's bad this shoots where you aim and it will hit things pretty easily but it does no damage and i don't get that like what it has with slug rounds i think the base damage goes up to 100 and like four but, uh, purple rarity puts that damage up to 200 percent so that means it's at like 400 and like what i don't know something or other damage and then you pack a punch that's gonna double the damage that's gonna what quadruple the damage again triple the damage again so we're probably looking at like minimum 800 to 1200 damage per shot this gun should be putting out right now if my maths is correct which i highly doubt it um what is it doing <laughs> like what is it doing because that's not that's not like even if it's only doing 800 damage that is not 800 damage worth of damage per shot if that makes sense i have to i, I have to try and fight a mega abomination with this thing what am i gonna do <laughs> what am i gonna do i can't use i can't use this gun in tier three i can't i can't i will die <laughs> right i've just done the maths in my head for how much damage this gun should be doing and i think at its current upgrade level and rarity it should be doing 1664 damage per shot i think i don't think it is <laughs> like there's no way it is doing that because like you can use and i i did the video on uh what was it the other day the the famos or something or whatever the one after that was that gun was doing at base damage 54 damage 54 damage you have it at the same level you know and it's like only putting out like 800 damage or something, a thousand damage when f at the, like fully upgraded, like tier three pack punch, purple rarity, and it's one shotting everything, deleting bosses with ease, like just tearing its way through zombies no matter what. This has almost double like the damage, like double stat damage than the Famas, and it's pathetic. <laughs> like it's not killing anything. It has to be. It has to be broken, right? Like physically, like actually, literally, not working correctly. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. The fact as well, <laughs> we're 20 minutes into a run, and I only have 9,000 points, and merely I did have to buy perks because the game shafted me. <laughs> we're 20 minutes in, and I'm still in the tier 2 zone, trying to do contracts to get points to get into the tier 3 zone. Usually it takes me, when I spawn in with a level 2 crystal and a purple tool, usually 10 minutes, and we're into the tier 3 zone. <laughs> it's going to take me at minimum, 25 minutes 30 minutes to get there that is insane that's how bad this gun is the worst part about this as well is that i could be sat here showing off a weapon like the cast off 762 or the 545 you know the deagle because you know those guns are actually incredible and i've not i don't think i've seen anyone talk about them but instead i'm here using a weapon that is essentially just the equivalent of a frisbee and even then that's harsh on frisbees at least those things could do some real damage to someone you know, if, like, you hit them in the face. You ever been hit in the teeth by one of those things? It hurts. I think you could probably survive getting shot by this thing, though. Pretty comfortably. Jesus Christ. I don't get how it's so bad. <laughs> Ugh. I, I'm actually just sad <laughs> at how bad this gun is. I was fully expecting to boot up this game today and prove a load of people wrong. Uh, instead, I'm just, like, re I'm just basically reaffirming what everyone's been saying. Because <laughs> it's actually awful. This is a tier two out, uh, outlast contract, and I'm struggling to kill zombies because the gun just doesn't work. <laughs> like, sick. I have 60 rounds of slug, like, I don't know the, the gauge of this gun, but I have 60 rounds of, like, shotgun slugs that just do absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is wonderful. At least I got something to, I, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Ugh. I'm trying to think, like, what are some of the worst guns I've ever used in in zombies, like, over the years? Like, I've been playing the game since World at War. How many, like, how many guns do I think, like, equal this? And I don't think there's any. Like, the Springfield is probably better from World at War. SMR is definitely better. I'd even go as far as saying the War Machine from Black Ops 2 is better. Like, at least when you pack a punch that thing, it becomes, like, a like an instant, like, detonation, like, impact grenade, basically, and it will obliterate things. Obviously, you know, it will also obliterate you as well if you don't have PhD, but, uh, like, I just, I don't get, like, I just, oh, uh, How is it this bad? <laughs> and the only conclusion I could come to is that it's actually just broken like not like haha -ha funny this gun's overpowered or underpowered broken though like it's actually something is wrong with it in the code it's just not outputting as much damage as it should be all right gun is pack-a-punched um i need to go find the wonder fizz quickly get myself jug 
And then I think I'm going to try and find a buy station, buy as many plates as I possibly can, and then go and poke the bear and see what happens. All right, actually, level three Pack-a-Punch. Oh my god, it took four bullets to kill a dog. It took four bullets to kill the dog. Oh, any gun can one-shot them usually at tier two Pack-a-Punch. Oh my god. Can I quit? <laughs> Is it too late? Am I in too deep? Where's Jug? Give me that. Get me out of here. <laughs> Run. Oh, yeah, Disciple of... Oh, oh yeah, the damage. Oh, that's so much damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's actually... That, that, there, there's funny haha -ha bad, and then there's, oh, I want to walk in front of a train bad. That's what this is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, because I already know I'm probably going to use Thermites to kill him before I even attempt to use the gun. What is that? Oh, my God. It should not be taking 10 bullets to kill a single zombie. Like, it just shouldn't be. Oh, my days. I know I'm not hitting headshots there and whatever, but, like, it's just... I don't understand how it's that bad. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> like, it's it's not gonna kill things. Like, I'm even using Brain Rot. Oh, my God. He's right there. <laughs> like, even using Brain Rot against the Mega Abomination, which he is weak to, it's still gonna tickle him. Like, you saw how bad it was at Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch with Brain Rot, Purple Tier and all that against... A, like a HVT mimic like oh, there's no shot. There's no I like I'm not I'm not doing any bounties in the tier 3 zone with this thing I don't hate myself that much if I can kill a Mega abomination with this weapon in my hand. I will call it a success right, I'm using the mortar to hopefully try and kill zombies so I can get plates <laughs> any more plates don't know I've got three plate. I've got one extra plate great. This is sick. I'm I'm yeah I'm loving life right now <laughs> Oh, great, I got two mimics. Look, oh, oh, that's sickening. That's actually just depressing. Um, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> yeah, this is... Oh, God, there's three of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> great, I don't even know what down me then. It's, it is the worst gun in the game. It's so bad that it's not even usable. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's not even, like, funny at how bad it is. You can't use it. It won't kill a thing in the tier three zone quick enough to keep you alive. It's as simple as that. Like, do you know how, like, the tier is so much better than any single weapon in the game by, like, a country mile? This is the exact polar opposite of the tier. <laughs> it is so incredibly bad that it just has any every, any and every gun already beaten. There's, there's no comparisons. This gun is just awful. I have to rely on elemental pop, proccing, shatter blast, or just anything in general to deal any sort of significant damage. That is insane. There is maybe one area where this gun is good and it's in tier one at this current level. <laughs> I think then you can maybe say this gun's okay. Actually, do you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go test it against a tier one bounty and see if it's just as pathetic against that. I already know I'm not gonna kill a tier three bounty with it. You could give me 17 hours and I will not kill a tier three HVT with this gun. They, they're gonna, they, have, they have to fix this gun, right? They have to. They have to buff it, fix it, do whatever to it they possibly can. But there is going to be a day, sometime in the future, who knows when, where this gun is actually the single best thing in the game. You, you know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to buff it so much that they accidentally make it the single best gun in the game for like a day, and everyone's going to love it. <laughs> and then they're going to nerf it so much that it somehow ends up being worse than what it currently is. <laughs> like you just know it's going to happen. Will it one shot a tier one zombie at this rating? Yes, it will. Okay, I finally found a level <laughs> at which this gun can actually one-shot something. Where's this mimic? He's up there. Come here. How much damage does this actually do against you? Oh my god. Okay, like, yeah, you're gonna kill him quickly. But even for a tier 3 pack a punch purple rarity, that is pathetic. <laughs> okay, I guess the real test, considering we've already seen how bad it is at tier 2 pack punch purple rarity against a tier 2 HVT, I guess we can just see what it will do against a tier 2 uh, bounty with tier 3 pack a punch. Tier 2 disciple HVT versus fully maxed out, you know, pack a punch wise, uh, <laughs> Riveter. I can't even hit him in the crit spot. <laughs> but that is doing literally no damage to him. Still. Still, level three pack a punch, purple rarity, and it still does absolutely no damage. What about the insta kill? Even the insta kill does hardly any damage to him. He should be dead about ten times over by now. But no, the riveter just—it's that bad. 
It's that bad. The worst part about this as well is I don't even think I killed him. I think that guy just jumped down dead, which like just... <laughs> I hate it so much. So yeah, uh, Riveter is absolutely the worst gun in the game. I think actually might be the worst gun I've ever used in zombies, like full stop. The single worst gun we've ever seen. <laughs> like, oh my, I might even go further and say it's the worst gun I've ever used in a any video game. Like straight up, it's that bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the build I used. I don't know why you would ever want to use this thing for yourself, but there you go. That's what I used. If you do want to put yourself through that misery, um, my name's been Satch. I'm going to go cry, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>